TIFU by speaking Japanese before I knew what I was saying. This just happened hours ago and I'm still reeling from my absolute hubris. After a decade of watching anime and listening to J-pop, I felt I was more than ready to learn Japanese formally. I attended class for the first time in my life. And I started right from the beginning. Right at the pre-elementary grade. All goes well for three hours. We learned some hiragana, alphabets, basic greetings and how to tell the time. It was challenging even for a weeaboo in denial like myself. The class was over before I knew it. And we were all packing up and saying sayonara to our sensei. As I packed, I wondered if I should say, thank you for your hard work. After all it was the first class. Everyone was shy and reserved. So the sensei had to power through a class that was largely unengaging. I have a history of not speaking up and regretting after. So I deliberated on whether to be brave and just say it. Plus, being kind never hurts. So as I left, I smiled at the sensei and confidently said, in true smarty pants fashion, Xi'an Sheng, sensei, thank you for your hard work. Sensei smiled and nodded not expecting anything further i walked out feeling like a superstar clap 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 the day should have ended on an encouraging note like that but being as extra as i am here comes the foo as i was waiting for my bus home i wanted to make sure that my understanding of the phrase was right and as google loaded the blood drained from my face and rushed to my cheeks at the same time Apparently the more appropriate phrase is another rendition of thank you for your hard work. Apparently, the phrase that I used is usually said from a superior position to a subordinate. I froze in terror. In my overconfidence, I have played some kind of sick power play on my teacher. To make things unnecessarily more dramatic, how the class works is that once you have locked in your class, the timing and teacher will remain the same he will progress through the grades at the same day of the week, same time, and the students are encouraged to continue in the same time slot until all the grades have been cleared. I cannot express how utterly embarrassed I am right now. And on my first lesson, the next few months will be fun. I hereby solemnly vow not to open my troublesome mouth for the rest of the syllabus. TL. DR. I said something to my teacher before I formally learned it. And ended up getting the context wrong. We'll see the teacher for the foreseeable future. Don't overthink this. Your teacher is simply glad you didn't thank them for being an aubergine. I'm from Japan. It's honestly not that bad. It's true that it's usually said from a superior to a subordinate, but it can also sometimes be used colloquially to people a bit more casually, especially if they are helping you. Generally you wouldn't say it to a teacher in Japan as a Japanese student, but you're not in that situation. My advice would be to stomach the embarrassment and not worry about it too much because the moment will pass and the teacher will certainly forget after some time. It's not like it was intended as an insult and if I heard that from a student, I wouldn't take it as such. Tone and delivery play a huge part in any language. And especially one with a lot of subtleties like Japanese. You were probably very polite about the way you said it. You could also just own up to it and have a conversation with them about it. Ask your teacher the difference between Atsukara-sama and Gokuro-sama and their thoughts on their usage you already know but it'll turn the slightly awkward moment into a teachable one for them don't fret too much my dude apologize and go on with it no decent teacher would hold this against you also if it makes you feel better i once wanted to tell my female thai teacher during class that i am taller than her came out as my cock is bigger than yours so you are doing much better than I was. If it makes you feel better I'll share my Japanese class faux pas. 
It was my second semester of Japanese and we had a quiz one day but was really under the weather. I figured I'd just ask if I could leave after the quiz. I approach Sensei who is standing at his podium doing some work on his computer. I start off with Sumimasen, Sensei, I'm sorry, Sensei, to which he replied hi, hi Allah yes, but me being whacked out from a fever and cold meds went, ah hi. This very proud Japanese man didn't even look up just slowly closed his eyes and let out the remaining air in his lungs hoping he or I would just die right there. Well, maybe just tell them you were excited and wanted to show your dedication to the language. Yay, a plus. And then afterwards you rechecked the phrase because you wanted to be sure you got it right. Yay, a plus. And you then understood that the context was wrong. Yay. A plus. And so you want to own the mistake and apologize. Yay. A pus. And that you are looking forward to learning more and being able to apply such phrases correctly. Yay. Well you get the idea. Your teacher probably knows that you are in the beginner's class and that you probably didn't. Intend to talk down to them. If you really feel bad. You can just go and explain and apologize. Maybe ask if they can teach you the proper way to say it. That's what I felt about Japanese. That I could pick it up well just by watching anime. Which is why I chose to learn French instead. That is until I learned. From shocked faces. That I, as a teacher, probably shouldn't say, yane To a student. And that, nanda core Does not mean, what is this? in a nice way loudly crying. Teacher. Or not. Honestly. I feel everyone shouldn't be hard on anyone else learning a language that is not their mother tongue. Language is already hard enough to learn without the nuances. And context rules. Or formal, informal. And masculine, feminine rules. Etc. Woozy face. You've learned from the first mistake. And that's what matters. All the best learning Japanese. LMAO this is not a big deal. When I was in Japan and still learning the basics I got called a whore by a bartender for saying, I love you, instead of, I love that, over and over to a local guy showing me pictures of shrines I should visit. It's been years and I'm still embarrassed. Lol I bowed to the Japanese chef when leaving my local ramen place. And I put my hands together while bowing because that's how you bow in my culture. South Asian. Come to find out. The Japanese only put their hands together while bowing when praying. Yeah I wouldn't stress this too much. I was talking with my tutor once in my first year and wanted to say that I was sleepy, tired and had. Heard. Nimu. Used enough to believe it was right. And she looked at me and smiled and instead told me to use Sukarita Masu. I think in the end it was just impolite versus polite forms. TBH lots of native speakers make the same mistake you can just bring it up next time you see the teacher and have a laugh. I too am learning Japanese right now. My Xi'an Sheng is a very kind person who really wants us to learn and understand the language including the nuance, and would treat this like, say, using the wrong verb conjugation. I hope it's the same in your case. If you were teaching English and a person said, thanks you for all the hard works as, you would understand what they were trying to say and also be able to know that it's not quite right at the same time. Yes? I don't think this is a big deal and honestly is still, in my opinion, a nicer thing to say than nothing at all even if it's a bit off. You're there to learn after all. Not to be perfect already. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.